We have a winter weather advisory out there this morning, and it's not your typical winter weather advisory. You think, uh, you know, accumulating mm -hmm. snow usually yeah. when you hear that, or maybe an ice potential. This time it's mainly due to the travel impacts of the snow. Got it. And that's mainly due to the snow squalls that we could experience out there today. Yeah. It's becoming a lot more of an issue that the National Weather Service is trying to kind of push out because of the impacts that you can see on the roadways, because it, it will get to more of the details in it, but it can really reduce visibility and make for some mm. tough travel conditions. So here's a look at your winter weather advisories in place across the region. Central Kentucky, including the Lexington area, it's through 7 o'clock this evening until 4 o'clock early Tuesday morning into southeastern Kentucky for the Jackson National Weather Service office area, which is our friends uh, to the south and the east. Here in central Kentucky, that is through 7 o'clock, and it's mainly due to the snow squalls. So here's a little bit of an explanation behind what exactly those are. Intense bursts of heavy snow, basically a wintertime thunderstorm. And speaking of that, we could even deal with uh, the chance of some thunder snow today. There's enough energy uh, embedded within some of these storms that we could see that impact there for your day today. Short-lived, so only around 30 minutes to an hour today, a little bit on the lower end of that. So 15 to 30 minutes, I think, uh, as about as long as you'll see snowfall. And it will reduce visibility quickly, resulting in a brief period with whiteout conditions. You factor in the gusty winds today, that's also going to lead to those uh, whiteout conditions and snow accumulates rapidly, but I don't think we see much of that chance today either, mainly due to the fact that this is going to be so short lived. And once it's done snowing, it'll melt pretty quickly before the next uh, snow squall moves on in. So just be mindful of that as you head out today. Future cast shows those uh, snow squalls starting into central in northern Kentucky by around lunchtime, moving off towards the south and east. Best chance to see that will be along the Mountain Parkway and along I-64, especially if you are traveling over towards West Virginia. As you get deeper into the evening hours, snow chances really decrease, and we'll see the skies clearing out, allowing for a cold start to the day tomorrow, and then not going anywhere, feeling like the mid-30s for the afternoon hours on your Tuesday. And once you factor in the wind chill, it's going to be even colder than that. So future cast snowfall amounts, again, going to be light. Heaviest areas will be uh, less than an inch, maybe approaching an inch right along some of the highest ridge tops in the Harlan, Ledger counties there towards the south and the east. Notice less than an inch, though, for everyone else. So don't expect accumulating snow with this. That'll last especially. So temperatures right now not too bad, mid to upper 30s. Viper radar right now showing actually some light rain into southeast Kentucky. That will switch over to some snow later on. We are seeing a cold front moving through the region right now. As that exits off towards the east, colder air settles on in. You can already see some snow moving into Indiana and Illinois. For your day today, often on snow showers, temperatures about as warm as they'll get right now, mid to upper 30s. That breeze will make it feel even colder than that. Tonight, we're going to dip into the upper teens and low 20s. Notice the westerly wind overnight, 5 to 15 miles per hour, gusting as high as 25, and that's going to lead to a cold wind chill. Take a look at these wind chill temperatures this afternoon, upper teens, low 20s, feeling like the single digits as you get deeper into your uh, overnight and by tomorrow morning. So definitely bundle up as you head out the door for your day tomorrow. Looking ahead at your full seven-day forecast, temperatures climb late week. Our go days Thursday, 52 Light rain chances this weekend right now have it at around a 20% chance, but temperatures will be mild as you head into your Christmas weekend, mid-50s Saturday and Sunday.